Hey guys, okay, we're out here in the Five on Your Side garage. Of course, I have our road expert, Paul Ooh. Cook, here with us. Um, Paul, last, uh, a couple of days ago, actually, and last week, we saw a lot of spun out cars on the side of the road when we were in the storm tracker. We saw that on Tuesday. What do you do if your car starts to slip and slide on snow and ice? Great question, and I saw this this morning on the way in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't panic. I know that's easy to say, but don't panic. Right. Make sure you're not flying along. Don't slam the brakes on if you start to slide. Yeah, that seems like the, your, the instinctive thing uh, to do, right? Slam the brakes. Don't right. do that. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, so let's just say you start to slide to the right. Mm -hmm. Turn to the right. Turn okay, to the right. But don't, right. you know, really just crank it to the right. You're going to want to turn gradually to the right. Yeah. You also want to lift a little bit. It's mm -hmm. kind of a measured lift on the gas, not a slam on the brakes like we mm -hmm. talked about. And I guess you have to be ready for the car to correct itself because if you do turn it too hard, that might send you into a tailspin. Right? Hot tip, yeah. hot tip, great mm -hmm. point. Yeah, you, you don't want to overcorrect. We see that a lot. Okay, you did the first thing right. Yeah. Now you overcorrected and boom, you're in the median or the ditch. So be ready for the overcorrection and turn that way as well. All right, well, let's say worst case scenario, you are in the median, you are in the ditch, you're off to the side of the road. Let's head on over to the trunk of the car um, because right. we have a couple of things back here. Uh, what you might need to already have packed if you find yourself off to the side of the road, your emergency kit, if you will. Yes, yeah. and you know what? This is the one from my car right here. What you got in And here? yes, okay, so the roadside kit ready to go. You've yeah. got your flashlight because it could be dark, right? It could be, yeah. It's going to be really cold, so make sure you have the cell phone charger. I have that somewhere, but here's your flashlight. You got your cables, you've got your first aid. You got socks. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have this stuff. Gary's made fun of me, but make sure you have medication, those type of things, if you need them. Very, very you know, important. Uh, yeah, we even got a, a shovel back here just in case you have to great. dig yourself out. Uh, an ice scraper with the brush on it. You kind of want to make sure you got this one. Hat yes. gloves. And then, of course, you know us. We love to eat around here. But in, in all seriousness, <laughs> you might be it's stuck important. for a while. So water and snacks just in case and i also have the world's smallest uh flashlight that's here. great have two of them and the blanket case. is so important yeah Sydney. absolutely we have the blanket as well thanks so much paul i mean you know we hope nobody's in this situation where they have to use their emergency kit but it's always good to have it and exactly be just be safe out there give yourself some extra time this morning already seeing accidents out there all right well we're going to talk about checking your tires how you can make sure that pressure is exactly where it mm. needs to be because that's really really important in our next half hour but for now back to you guys. Thank you.